in, in my own company's examples, um, you know, there were similarities with those offered by the other participants in the group. Uh, get aligned around your business process before uh, you undertake the IT implementation. Uh, the IT professionals in the group really stressed as much as possible sticking with simple off-the-shelf software uh, that customization is really uh, a dangerous path to go down. And then finally, uh, just to comment again about the, the participants in our group, uh, broad consensus, surprisingly around breaking it down into uh, these smaller chunks, and, and also I would say a, a lot of respect for the complexity of the challenge that uh, our government administrators have as they deal, you know, not just within their own departments, but trying to deal with systems that, that cross over uh, a variety of, of departments. And so uh, we appreciate the challenge that you've got, and I think to a person, everybody in our group uh, is willing to continue to be available to you to consult and, and provide feedback and input as much as you would like. Thank you. Thank you. Now, 18 must be uh, the magic number today in that I counted 18 ideas across the five groups. Um, and uh, if you add that to what we saw in the homework and the breakout groups, I think we have close to 100 ideas. But I think all of us would agree that in business, um, the ideas are just the beginning, and it's really all about execution. All of you are here because your companies execute so well, and I think that's our challenge here in government too. It's execution. So the ideas are fabulous, and they get us off to a fast start. But the Anish, Vivek, every DepSec in the room, every CIO in the room is committed to execution, to implementation, to getting real tangible results for the American people. And we need your continued help on that. Um, I see not 18 next steps, but four next steps, four immediate next steps. Um, first, we're going to take the best ideas from the homework, the best ideas from the breakouts from today, and get them online so we can broaden our audience to other private sector leaders and to the public and expand that list of ideas and refine the ideas uh, so we can really hone in on the best, most applicable ones. Um, second, an implementation plan. Within 30 days, we'll get out to all of you and also get online an implementation plan where we have clear milestones, accountability and ownership, and highlight what we think our key challenges are going to be to get these ideas implemented. Um, third, and you just mentioned it, is implementation assistance. We're going to need help. Uh, and by mapping out those key challenges and asking all of you and others to map your or match your interests and your expertise to where we have challenges, we can create informal networks where DepSecs can pick up the phone, hopefully, and talk to you as CEOs and CIOs can call into your organization to get ongoing counsel and advice. And then lastly, I would hope that by the end of next week, each of you would take a call from one of the DepSecs in your group to do a debrief. What did we miss? What did you think about over the weekend? What should we be doing on implementation? So I really appreciate what you've done to date, and I hope you're willing to continue to work with us as we really drive toward results and have a tangible impact on the effectiveness and efficiency of our government services. It's now my pleasure to introduce one of the president's closest friends and closest advisors, and she is the senior point person for the administration to the business community, senior advisor to the president, Valerie Jarrett. My guys from The View are leaving now that a woman comes up here. I don't know about that. Thank you uh, for that introduction. And, but most importantly, thanks to all of you for being here today. We know how challenging your lives are, particularly in this economic climate. And for you to give up your um, a big part of your day and come and join us here in the White House, we just deeply appreciate it. I also want to thank our team who put together today's event. A lot of planning, as you could imagine, went into it. And we really appreciate your willingness, in addition to everything else you're doing, to make sure that this day went off as flawlessly as I think it did. Um, I uh, had a chance to observe a couple of the breakout, breakout groups, and I'm not going to repeat um, what I observed because I think it was captured by the reports, but one of the observations that I would share with you that I have picked up over 
however many years I've been uh, in business, both working in the private and the public sector, is that tone really starts at the top. And the reason why it was so important for the president to be here with you, and you can imagine what his day has been like with everything going on with Haiti and health care and the, just the normal demands of being the president, is that he wanted to signal to you how much he values your input. We really do want to make our government better. We want to make it efficient. We want to make sure that we can capture the best practices that you guys have mastered each and every day. And we want to listen and we want to incorporate it and we want to make sure that your time spent both today and when we follow up. Because one of the things is once you're in our clutches, we never let you go. <laughs> you are going to be... Um, we're not going to be excessive, but we do want to know that uh, execution is going to be important. And in order to do that in the most effective way, it's going to um, require us to have an ongoing relationship with many of you. And so we thank you in advance for the support that we know that we're going to get from you. And we appreciate deeply your commitment, not to the administration, but to our country, because we really believe that this government is here to serve you. And we want to make sure that it is the best that it can be during the course of the campaign we met so many extraordinary people around the country, many of who joined the administration. And one of the observations that the President shared early on is that we're never going to be able to keep these extraordinarily talented people if we don't really change what it means to work in government. And, and that's from the bottom up, and we have to listen to the people who are out there every day working in the trenches who have terrific ideas, and we have to listen to the private sector who um, has mastered the same challenges that, that we're facing each and every day. So we want this to be a partnership with you. It is a part of our ongoing effort to include the business community, and whether it's Council on the Economy or health care or energy reform or public education or social innovation, we want to have a partnership with you, and we want it to be um, an engagement and a two-way street, and so we really count on you for that. Um, in closing, what I'd like to say is several of you in the course of the day have asked for information if you want to help with um, the relief effort going on in Haiti. And we appreciate that offer of generosity. Many of you have done this before when there have been other catastrophes around the world, and so you know exactly what you're doing. But for those of you who would like to coordinate with us in the White House, this is something that the President is absolutely committed to doing as um, uh, efficiently and effectively as possible and leveraging all of the possible resources, not just from business, but from everyday Americans who want to volunteer and help. But we want to do it in an efficient and an effective way. We don't want to get in the way of what right now is a very critical effort to try to save lives, particularly in the next 24 to 48 hours. Um, so one of two things, either you can go on our website, whitehouse.gov, and we'll be putting up information on ways that you can be helpful. The Business Roundtable, I know, is plugged in, and they're um, working with us to be helpful. Or you can call me. And I think all of you received um, a letter from me on the email to invite you here today, so feel free to send an email to either to myself or to Greg, who was also on that same email address. And we appreciate uh, your concern and your help in that as well. So please, once again, accept our appreciation for being here today. Safe travels home, and you're going to be hearing from us. Thank you. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.